Okay, so today we're going to look at a fight electronic, 9 watt, 800 lumen, 93 milliamp bulb. Uh, so it comes apart pretty easy. A couple little notches. All right, power it on. What do we got? Actually, that's too bright. Nine point, all right, 9.4 watts. Power factor 0.81. Hundred milliamps. Okay. Maybe a little bit more waters than it says. All right. Okay, let's do like that. Turn it on. Okay, so really hard to see. It looks like there's actually groupings of three, 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 and two. All right. And it's showing 144 volts DC. Actually, I wonder if I turn if I turn this off. Turn that one out. Put this one in. Wow. Okay. Before, when I had this one on, it wasn't going crazy like this. But you could tell that there were multiple ones shorted out, like over here in the in the middle there, you can see, you know, God, you can barely see. The three, two, one. So there's like eight uh, segments inside each of these cobs. Let's disassemble it. Live. any of this in. All right, so oh, they're all labeled D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There's 6 with 8 inside of it. All right. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, that just popped right off. Let's take a look at that thing. So it just has two pin connector, barely any thermal paste, whatever, I guess it's screwed down. Okay, interesting. Plastic ring and very thick metal housing, plastic on the outside and circuit card buried inside of there. So this is really not easy to get apart. Huh, okay. Okay, so that is in, <laughs> was in with a bunch of potting compound or something. What in the world? Okay, what a mess. What a mess. Oh boy, look at that. That's going to be interesting to try to get apart. Okay. Okay, well, I finally got this thing apart. There is quite a bit of potting compound down in the bottom. Uh, so, <laughs> this uh, did not come out as easily as I thought it would. Um, so I had to tear the side off of it. Um, but the interesting thing is like how they put this together. Um, the circuit card has notches in it, kind of like a lot of them do now, where it slides down into this, locks into place. When I pulled this out, I actually yanked it out this way, ended up tearing off. Uh, let's see if we can see that, this small little uh, 
circuit that was there, which I don't know how <laughs> that got caught. But either way, so I probably put this together, had the end on, you know, the wire wrapped around the side like normal, crimped it, the wire on the end, put the button in. So then you have a piece like this, but they have all this potting compound on in there. And you see it's all over the top of this capacitor. So, so I'm not sure. I think they would have had to have put this in first, but it doesn't make any sense because it's all in the inside of here. So this is so bizarre. So maybe they had this in there and they somehow stuck a, a tube in there and just started spraying it in. Because it's so thin around here. It just doesn't make sense. Well, either way. So not sure exactly how they put it together or how they got that compound in there um, before or after they put this in, maybe, but then it would have been sloshing around. I don't know. So either way, pretty hefty piece of pla or <laughs> metal for a heat sink. Uh, so the other odd thing is where you saw this sticking where it normally is sitting, the potting compound is all around that. And that would have been heat dissipation, you know, out to the actual socket, nowhere near this. It seems like it could have been designed where this was actually up higher, closer to this, could have just had compound around that area. All right, I can do a Was it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. Okay, so the other thing to note, uh, you see this, the heat sink. This is the other one I took apart, the one that was flickering before. And I have four of these, but this is the only one that has slightly different fins on it. Not sure why they changed the design. Okay, so I was able to pull another one apart. I had to tear all the edges off, but this thing is loose in here. Uh, for this one, you can see all the compound down in there, but there's barely any up inside this one, unlike the other one. So I'm still thinking they <laughs> they put it in through here somehow, <laughs> the nozzle. I don't know. This, this capacitor is just coated with it, so it had been dripping down there. It's just really bizarre. Okay, so here we have like a sh showing a fusible resistor and then an actual fuse, the bridge rectifier. Uh, I swapped the orientation of this circuit just so it'd be easier to draw. Um, it's got a 10k resistor and a capacitor going into it and a ground uh, and then it's controlling this end channel MOSFET over here um, and over on the diode side or the LED side we have a resistor capacitor and the six cobs with eight uh, segments in it each uh, as for the circuit, uh, I could not find either the number on it wasn't an actual number or it was a part number or no, or the number on it was just a manufacturing number, not an actual part number. But uh, from what I can gather, obviously it's um, controlling the gate based on the voltage dividing happening everywhere. Um, you know, one mega ohm resistor over there too. So it's sensing what voltage everything's at, turn this on and off, so that this gets the exact voltages and currents it needs to operate. Any questions or comments, leave them below.